it is I look really tan that's not good because um, I'm not tan so that would mean I have too much bronzer on haha <laughs> Hey guys, I'm currently on my way to the men's basketball game tonight. We are versing Penn State, so this is such a big game. Our tickets are sold out. This only happens to the biggest games of the year. I would say about three to four games in a year sell out, and it just so happens that today is one of them. And I'm so excited to take you guys along. I know my content has been slacking this winter break, but it's because I have not been doing anything at home. I have tried to film so many different videos for you guys, but they all turn out to be sh because it's just not quality content. Like, I don't think you guys would want to see it. I mean, I'm sorry. And I have some really fun stuff coming up. It's just these past two weeks specifically have not been the most fun. I'm sorry, but the show goes on. We're here now, and I'm so excited. For basketball, I usually don't put on lashes. So fake lashes on me clearly look fake because... Duh. So if I'm closer to the audience, I genuinely don't feel as comfortable with having false lashes on if there were to be a game that I would want to look a little better and like elevated. Today would have been the day, but I just didn't really have time to put on eyelashes and I also didn't really... It's like, if you don't put on lashes for a basketball game, you're totally fine. I don't know, it's just more casual, if that makes more sense. Wow, this girl is just watching me vlog at the light. <laughs> I don't really curl my hair for basketball games unless I want it curled for whatever I'm doing after the game or the next day. I haven't even done my hair at all today because it's still wet from the shower I took earlier. It's fine, I'm fine. Everything's gonna work itself out. Don't stress. Namaste. So for basketball games, it's the same thing as football games. We stand on the sidelines. I mean, there's a little less space for basketball games, but we still do our timeout dance and like we do a lot of timeout cheers in the middle of the court. What's about to go down while I'm driving to school is I need to refresh myself on the dance we're going to be doing today. And I'll play the music in the car and then just keep going over it and just like think about the moves. So I'm refreshed by the time I get there. And yeah, that's what I need to do right now. I need to just play the song over and over again, refresh myself on the dance, and I will see you guys when I get to school. I was in the fucking pee overnight. I was like, I was in a, I was like, ma'am, my mom has to come pick me up from the train station today at school. So I was going to tell her to use my paper. We are at the rack right now. What happens now is I need to change really fast and straighten my hair. She's got to recurl her hair and then we have to go over the dance and we do that in the back. I'll bring you guys along with us and yeah, that's our pregame. Oh, hello. Ready for the game, Maya? Um, Lauren, are you ready? I'm so ready. <laughs> oh, how are we I'm looking? Like, this piece is looking a little off. <laughs> it is. It's a little wonky. So we're gonna hide that. And it looks perfect. Very excited. Wait, maybe it looks better on the other side. <laughs> I need to wash.
Oh my god, I look so sweaty. Oh, so cute. Oh, so cute. Okay, guys, the game is over and we won. Okay. I'm gonna do this in the car. I look really ugly. First thing I do after the game. We won! Oh my god, it was such a good game. I, unfortunately, I didn't have one person to like take footage during the game, but hopefully I can piece enough content for you guys to see the energy during this game. It was wild. It was so amazing, and I'm so proud of Rutgers. The end of the second half, it wasn't even a close game anymore. I'm pretty sure the difference was like over 10 points. I was... Oh my god, such an amazing game, but I am so tired and I'm so hangry. So that is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go get food. It's so weird having 7 p.m. games because there's not really a proper time to eat dinner. And I never remember to bring a snack and it's nobody's fault but mine, but we're gonna go get Mamoon's falafel. It's near my apartment on um, College Ave. I'm so winded. <laughs> 